Death is a bridge which expands the passage for a lover to reach his beloved, God. God rains misfortune and misery upon the heads of those whom he loves. Perfection in faith is evidenced by three things, one, fear, two, hope and, three love. The path of love, of God, is such a path that whoever stepped into it, he lost himself. The highly prized gift for a dervish or hermit is his association with other dervishes or hermits, while his greatest loss is to remain away from them. The perfection of an irif consists in burning his individual self, nafs, to ashes. A dervish or hermit is one who would never disappoint a needy. One of the signs of an irif is that he remains characteristically smiling at all times. The seer regards death as a friend, luxury as an enemy and the constant narration or remembrance of God as a glory. The Almighty God will erect on the Day of Judgment curtains the thickness of which will take five hundred years to cross over between the hell and the man who feeds a hungry person. He is an Ira Forsyer who is visited every day by a hundred thousand flashes of light, inspiration, from the heaven. Devotional approach to the saint and friendship with the hermits or dervishes attract blessings from the high. When the irif becomes silent it means that he is talking to God, and when he closes his eyes it means that he is knocking at God's door. Keep handy your equipment for the last journey and think of death as hovering over your head at all times. Those devoted to the path of the knowledge of God's realization, Afan, have nothing to speak of except God. By attaining perfection in the observation of Shariat, Islamic law, through a pious conduct, one reaches the stage of Tariqat, the path leading to divinity, and then onward he passes on to Marifat, enlightenment, and, lastly to Hakikat, attainment of summon bonum of human existence. Only two things are enough for one desirous of establishing himself on the path of Tariqat, viz. 1. Devotion to and worship of God and, 2. Obeying his commandments. Verily he is an Irif who is clothed with three qualities firstly, piety, secondly conduct eliciting respect, and thirdly modesty. For a follower of the path of truth, it is worse than a sin to disdain or look down upon anyone. Realization of God comes to him who keeps vigilance and forgets recollection of self. To cast a devotional look towards one's per, spiritual preceptor, and to serve him faithfully are comparable to the devotion to God. He is a hardened sinner who commits sin and yet simultaneously entertains the belief that he is one of the God's chosen few. A sin committed does not harm an individual so much as the looking down with contempt upon one's own fellow beings. The worldly people work under worldly limitation, the seekers of the world hereafter drink deep into the love of God which keeps them always happy and free from cares, whereas those devoted to the path of Marifat, look to nothing else except, the divine light which drowns them. Patience is tested through resignation to sorrow, sufferings and disaster without murmur or disclosing one's pains to others.
whatever one has received is the reward for service rendered by him to his per spiritual preceptor, hence a murad, disciple, should not transgress the behests of his per, but he must take to heart the lesson which his per imparts to him and try to act up to the same thoroughly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, like, and stay blessed for good.